now what I want to do is that instead of this class can I provide anonymous inner type absolutely yes you can do that thing see now what I can do is that btn ok right btn ok dot set on click listener once again right so instead of creating the separate class I can create anonymous inner type see do not forget the line let me tell you this thing view dot on click listener make sure that here you are going to pass object of that class which is implementing the view dot on click listener so here all the time here object of that class right which would be having or which would be implementing view dot on click listener so this is also one object compiler will create one class and that class will implement view dot on click listener like this right these are these two things are very similar right one is having name and one is not having the name and that's why it is called as anonymous inner type one is having name over here click is the name of the class where here there is a no name of the class and that's why this thing is called as anonymous inner type okay else everything is same let me copy this and paste it over here that would be very same okay now let me see what happens if I run the code see what happens output would be the same very similar can you see uppercase data is going in the uppercase providing event handler by means of what you can say anonymous inner type so this is nothing but what anonymous inner type and this is a named class right well let me push this much code to the git add and you can say git commit and here you can say event handling anonymous inner class right event handling using anonymous inner class so what's the spelling M O U S right anonymous inner class fine let me push this to the git git repository and the push this I am pushing it to the git right so you'd be getting code on the git well now beginning of the Java ID. so this is how you would be working with the anonymous inner class in the next tutorial I'm going to explain how you are dealing with the Java 8 I'm going to get the benefit of the lambda expressions and the method references right I'm going to get the benefit of the lambda expressions and the method references yeah yeah see efficiency wise this is a good right or you cannot why why th that is happening is that per button you need to provide anonymous inner type this is a good right this is a good but this is you are going to the declarativeness or here itself you would be getting the code you don't need to go to the another class then search it and other that things right yes maintainability yes yes and this 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 much kind of memory is that's fine so your phones can consume this much kind of memory or work with this kind of memory right so the next thing right is more precise next thing is a more precise by comparison of this and this right here you are creating the object but in the next thing we wouldn't be creating that one expression yes Yes. Presently, you are saying presently only and this thing. View, view, view. See, first line would be this on create 
after that content would be getting loaded then your button would be getting fine then this line and oh whenever you are going to execute this line one object would be getting created right but, but until, until yes no not like that before so this is the event you can say this is the event that is going to be appeared afterwards right that is going to happen afterwards but object would be getting created getting created yes on would be getting created yeah in both the cases same in the both the cases same will happen right here as well as here same thing would be happening yes do that thing yes 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 but the maintainability yes maintainability is or the declarativeness of this code is more right this thing okay so next tutorial will cover in depth java 8 how you are going to integrate the java 8 in the existing same code right we'll see that thing in the next tutorial